What's up today my fellow mad soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is showing you guys the fastest way to level up your season pass. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the view all fuel passes. And whether you're new or whether you're not new, I'm going to show you guys certain things, right? Because some people may think that, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I got to do this, I got to do that. And they think that they're really leveling up. But there's certain objectives you got to look at. So as you're grinding out the game, you're actually completing more objective than one and you're able to level up a lot faster on top of that, right? Also, keep in mind that I want to tell you guys is that there's only so much XP in the game. So the reason why we consider it level up faster is because you want to make sure you're doing certain objectives every single day um, and also looking at other objectives to make sure you're doing it all at once as you're grinding and that's how you level up faster. But keep in mind, there's only so much XP in the game and you want to make sure you get as much as you possibly can. So let's go ahead and go to season pass. And what I'm going to show you this season, so stay tuned because in this season pass is rewards. I'm going to show you guys certain things in those rewards to where some people may not want to be like, oh, I just want Deion Sanders and that's it. That's all cool. But there's certain rewards to where if you actually get them, they're going to be a lot better than what you think. So, all right. So you don't want to go to dailies. You see right here, this daily right here, it, it, um, it resets every day depending on where your time is at. You see mine resets in 48 minutes, so that's good. So after I do this video, I'm going to make sure I get this done. And in 48 minutes, I'm going to get another one done. And the reason why this is important, you got to do this every day. Not only is it good for your coins because you get a coin pack as well as a strategy card, which could be a good rare one, which comes with, which is a, qu a quick sell also, or you can sell it or use it for your squad, right? Um but it helps you complete these daily trackers right here. So you're gonna see right today, I'm gonna end up with um, 18 out of 20 because I'm gonna complete one right now after this video. And then when it when it resets in 48 minutes, I'm gonna complete another one and I'm gonna have 18 out of 20. And as you see right here, look how much XP it's giving you. So some people may forget about this, right? Just because of the way it resets every day is kind of odd. I don't mind it, but you, you tend to forget. I'm, I, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I forgot to do it yesterday, but the good thing is because it resets every day at a, or later on throughout the day later on um, in the day i'm able to i'm able to get it done um the next day still so that's a good thing right but so that's the reason why i do is because some people may not be doing this or forgetting about this and they're losing now on these rewards because these are daily you have to do these every day in order to get it done and yeah, you could skip a few days and still get it done before season two is over with. That's not that's not the problem. The thing is, you the whole thing is you want to get it um, level up faster. So that's why you don't want to forget all these. Look how much XP I was able to get, and um, because I was doing these every day, that's why I'm close to. Some people already got the Josh Allen right because they actually did other things, which I'm going to show you guys right now, which I want you to pay attention to, so they're able to get a little bit faster. But anyways, yeah, so I got 35k XP coming. I got 40 40 uh, K XP coming and 45k XP These are gonna help me level up very fast and I'm gonna get a lot closer to getting that Deion Sanders Which I actually want right now, but my whole goal is to level up the whole season pass Like I'm gonna level it up That's not even gonna be a problem because I'm I'm actually doing this stuff day to day and I'm making sure that as I'm grinding out the game, I always come and check out my, my field passes to see what I'm missing because I always forget. There's too much going on and people always forget. That's why I like doing these level up videos. I like doing competitive pass videos all the time. Some people are like, well, that's the same stuff you say here and there. Yeah. Not only is it remind, because I'm constantly reminding myself, I want to make sure I remind you guys and not just that, there's new people are, are tuning in that need to know also. But it's always a reminder because some of you guys be like, Oh man, you know, I do know that, but I forgot. Let me go ahead and start doing this. Oh, oh man, it's the last day for this. Let me go ahead and do this. It happens. We're human, man. We're going to forget. Now let's go to the stats. So as you see that, I want to let you guys know, do your daily objectives because that's going to help you tremendously. You see, I got one more right here. I got record 3,500 team tackles in any mode and I get 5k XP. All these XP adds up right here. I don't know if you guys been doing this. But you're missing out if you're not completing these objectives. Just by grinding out the game alone, you should be completing these objectives. But if you're not, go and see what you guys still need and start completing them. Either just do it. I, I did it just by grinding out the game. I haven't been like repeating solos and stuff like that. There's really no need to. I grind it so much to where it starts completing by itself. But if you guys ain't got nothing to do and you guys are just chip, uh, just chilling and you guys just want to like, you know, look on something on your phone, then go go to a solo, let it re re repeat them and do things like that and start completing these objectives if you want to get it done faster, right? Me, I, I, I still need uh, so many tackles more, which is not that much and I'll get the 5k XP, but 
regards to the fact even though I 5k XP is not really that much look at all the XP that I got I got all the XP just for completing all this stuff right here so that actually helped me level up a lot faster so if you if you're wondering how these people are having Josh Allen or, or higher levels that's why because these people are getting all this done right now and then you get this right here complete all th uh, three daily objectives it don't show nothing but I'm assuming it's gonna give you some XP don't don't like quote me on it because before it'll give you like 800 xp for completing all three daily objectives i'm hoping it still does that it's not saying it but that's the reason why it's there there's no reason for for, for this to be there for nothing so i'm pretty sure it's giving you something all right so let me go ahead and back out i'm gonna get into the rewards right now but there's other things that you guys got to keep in mind so your most fear pass which a lot of people already got it done but keep in mind the reason why i'm bringing up this right now is because this is going to go to show you for Future programs is going to be in the program. Remember, we got the Thanksgiving program, which I'm going to do a video on soon. Um, and when that comes out, there's going to be XP. So make sure, look at you level up all your program passes because they give you tons of XP. So that's plain and simple. But always pay attention when, you, when you're doing this, especially those who are just like, maybe they're still working on it. Um, in order to get this done the fastest, in order to get these fuel, pass, uh, fuel uh, fat passes done the fastest, you want to make sure you go to your objectives and the stars, are, the starry one are, are, are self-explanatory. You just got to do the solos in order to get the stars, right? And they're going to give you the most feared XP that's going to level up that competitive pass. And it's going to give you um, season XP for leveling it up. Then the stat. The stat is what you want to go to. Because in the stats, you're going to need to put players into your lineup in order to complete certain objectives like this one here. Win five games with three most feared players in your lineup. And just so you guys know, simplify as, as easy as I can. You can have a gold most fear player into your lineup and these stats count. You can have put three gold uh, most fear players into your lineup, put them as, uh, as your backup and it will count. So just keep that in mind. But I always tell people, make sure these players are into your lineup, put all nine of them in and then start grinding them out and getting it out the way. Because if not, you're going to have to go back, re-put them into your lineup and still complete these um, objectives. So if you put them, if you put them into your lineup from from the from like before you even start grinding, then you're you're gonna be completing so much objectives as you're grinding, and you're gonna be able to get the fill pass uh, um, done faster, and you're gonna be able to get all the XP that comes in these fill passes. Same thing with the competitive pass, right? So here's one thing, right, that I didn't know. Some of you, you guys told me this, right? Because you're like, yeah, there's like 150k XP in the competitive pass. Like, like what do you mean, bro? There's only like 70. 75k xp there's 25k and 50 50k xp that they show us and you're like no look under the look under the the um like he's these red zone packs and all these other packs, which they're already gone right but i'm gonna show you these other ones right here so i guess you guys are telling me this touchdown pack it says 31 xp re uh, required over here 551 xp required 71 xp required so you guys are telling me that that on the bottom is giving you xp so if that's the case, then I don't know how much XP, I don't know what all that means, but I know that from, from you guys, and I actually been getting XP, that apparently is giving you more XP than what it actually is showing you. So I would encourage you guys, if you could get the full competitive pass done, get it done. If you can't, you're going to be missing out because you're going to be missing out on the extra XP that's going to help you level up faster. A lot of people don't know. Because some people are only um, com completing so much. And I know some people, it's kind of hard to play the head-to-head -head and do a lot of other things. But I would encourage you guys, play all the solo battles. Play everything that you possibly could play and do what you can, right? But if you're able to complete it, I would encourage you guys. Because you're going to be missing out, not only on the rewards, but XP in order to level up your season pass. And help you to get this season 2 pass all the way up to where you want to. And get that free especially that 94 overall Deion Sanders that everyone runs, right? But not just that, all the other rewards that come with it, like this game day pack, elite pack. I'm going to get this Josh Allen. He's definitely going to be my starter once I get him to let you guys know that. And then you're going to get these uh, other rare strategy cards. And if you don't want them, then you guys could uh, sell, uh, sell them, whatever the case may be. So it's saying required right here, but it, it just it, it's saying the same thing that the other one's saying, right? So I, I don't know what that is. I know you guys are going to help me out. Let, let me know. I'll go back to that in a minute. But anyways, let's go over here. So here's the Deion Sanders. This is what I want to get into to let you guys know, right? Which is very important. So after you get the Deion Sanders, a lot of people really ain't tripping. But I would trip, right? Because you're going to want this level 53, 82 plus overall elite fantasy pack 1 of 3. Because last year, not only me, but a lot of people were pulling some. I don't know what it is about this pack. 
but people were pulling glitchy pulls out of this pack to let you guys know that's why i wanted to touch upon this so after you even have to get the Deion Sanders, i will still continue on to level up and make sure you get as far as you possibly can and complete it if you can because these packs are glitchy not not only that one right but this one also the 70 plus overall gold fantasy pack you would think like why 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 is why would i want a 70 plus overall gold fantasy pack people would overlook anything i guess that that's not that's not even good and let me tell you one thing the 79 plus gold i don't know why they said that they should actually label it like 89 plus or 90 plus because once again a lot of people pulled a lot of glitchy players i actually pulled in the beginning of the season in the well season one which is actually a great pull because they only have so much uh, so many high overalls i pulled the all madden player which at that time was very glitchy so very happy so i, I would i would want to do that now on top of that you're gonna want this season three axp um collectible because it's gonna you know it should be 20k right like they did last time yeah it's gonna give you 20k xp just like they did last year 20k i mean i'm sorry just like they did the last uh, season pass 20k xp for your next uh to start you guys off which is actually good it's gonna get you to like level three or something like that all right and then you get this pro elite pack these other ones after that uh it's all right but you're at least gonna want to get up into this one right here because all these other packs before that are pretty glitchy these right here it's just you know if you got more you want to continue on because you just never know what you're gonna pull you want everything free when it comes to these packs right so that's one thing that i want to show you guys right there so to reiterate what i said look at all your objectives see what you got to complete and make sure as you're grinding you keep those uh, uh objectives in mind and start grinding for those objectives like for instance Oh, I need 500 rushing yards still. All right. It doesn't matter how much touchdowns I need. I only need 500 rushing, uh, rushing yards. Then you're going to want to focus more on rushing as you're grinding. If you possibly can, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. That's how you start playing the game smartly and you level up faster by doing that stuff. So anyways, there it is there. If you guys like seeing what you can see. Hey, also, also real quick. I, I don't want to get this wrong and I don't want to mislead you guys. You guys are the one telling me this, right? When it says on the bottom, 11 XP required, I'm assuming... Well, that's the competitive points, right? Because if I if I get 11 more uh, competitive points, I'm actually going to be able to get this. That's 240, actually. So I think that's what it is. But you guys are telling me that I'm we're getting XP with this. So let me know. I know this 11 XP. If I get 11 more competitive points, it's going to give me that 50K. So I'm pretty sure that that's what that means, even though I'm saying it's going to give you XP. But some of you guys are telling me, right? This is from you guys. You guys are telling me that I'm, I'm getting more XP from somewhere in this competitive pass. Because once again... All I see is 75k, 75k um, XP from this, which we're here, 50k XP, and right here in the beginning, where is it at? It's 25k. It's 25k. So I don't know where the other XP is coming from. If you guys are saying that we're getting more XP, let me know because the other ones that I showed you guys right, right now, which apparently before you guys are saying that it was XP, that to me looks like competitive points. So I don't because it says required. I need 11 more, which would make sense because I need 11 more in order to get that. So. Once again, let me know where the actual extra season um, season XP is coming from. But regardless of the fact, everything else still stands. Make sure you gr you look at all the objectives and start grinding out. But anyways, there it is there. If you guys like seeing what you've seen, drop a like on the video. If you guys need to sub, sub to the channel, there will be more great amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Um